Hmm. How'd you think he's finally on time? Me? Yeah. yeah. We're not, not on time. He's bro. always you on time. Last three games I've been here oh. before any of you, man, bro. <laughs> little dub today, man. Yeah, we need it, innit? Bro. Bye, bro. Recently it's been a bit techy, bro. Recently it's been techy, man. We ain't been in form, bro. Yeah. Dip one, we're playing a bit slow, yeah. man. Trust me, bro. We don't bro. want it enough, bro. So no, we today. don't, man. You know, she's doing up my first. Split second. Literally, one second, you look the wrong way. Basically, bro. This is what you do. Start the game, introduce yourself, and that's it. That's the guy you're going to be with the whole day, bro. Yeah. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself, bro. Say hello, my name is Tandon. <laughs> Nothing but a W today, man. That's it, man. Playing against the rivals. Ashford Argyle. Gizzo, the baby blue durag, you know. So we'll give you guys a quick look at the league table before we get into this one. We're currently sitting at fourth after our draw last week with Trudy FC. Roses are just ahead of us with two points, so we're looking for a win today to try and make up ground on them. We're going to be coming up against Ashford Argyle today. We're sitting at bottom of the league. We actually played against them in Division 2 and they got a draw against us. It was the only game in Division 2 that we didn't win. We didn't get to document that one for YouTube because our camera was messing up. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a rivalry, so we'll see what happens. So this is how we're lining up for today's game. We've got the return of S between the sticks. He's back from his shoulder injury. Me holding down the defence. Alvin and Nit on either side of the wings and Gidzo up front. As for our subs, we've only got to meme. We're a bit light on players today because of injuries, but we're going to have to make it work. If you're watching this and you haven't already, make sure you follow up our socials, our Instagram at CornFCTV. There's a post on there, fresh today, a little promo video, so go check that. And our TikTok at CornFC. And as always, make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe if you're messing with the content. So we'll kick this one off 30 seconds in and we're on a tight press. We're not giving them any space. You see kids all there, not letting up at all. That's how we want to come out on the game, just not let give them any space, any time to play anything. I think the ball comes down here and I'm on a press again. Get a little toe on it. Comes into Alvin on the lefty. He's not wasting any time. It's 1-0. Oh, About two minutes in now. And I must have completely forgot it's five aside we were playing. I thought it was 11s. Ooh. It's almost three minutes in now. And if I'm being honest, I don't think we've even got it out of their half yet. We've come out the gates flying. We're all over them. Still pressing them heavy. Keeper tries to play out here and I'm on the press. I think it falls to Nit. He's on the score sheet. It's 2 0. Yes, Nit. There's Alvin on the ball here, our new signing. We like him, man. He's always comfortable in possession. Plays a little 1 2 with Gidzo and lays him back in, but it's unlucky. It's the post. And Alvin just drags the rebound. About five minutes in now, Alvin plays a clean pass to Gidzo on the other wing. And I'm telling you, look, man, we haven't been playing five aside for that long. But the more you see us, the more we're going to start knocking it about like this. One, Beautiful two, little one-two, bottom go. corner. There you go. Alvin off to meme on. So it's no fault on Ashford here. I don't think S has even had anything to do. He may as well get himself a little duvet and pillowcase in the goal there. But we're still pressing him heavy. To meme gets on it. It's 4-0. Almost halfway through the first half now and Gidzo's got the ball on the right. I think Tamim gets a bit too tight on him. He's not really giving him an option to end up clogging up that side of the pitch. We end up losing it. Ashford Argyle switched to the other side of the pitch. It's a goal, it's 4-1. Knit off, Alvin on. Alvin on the ball here, channeling his inner AB. Give him a couple step overs. Nice shot, hits the post, got unlucky there. You know. I think they try to clear it out, but I get a little toe on it. Falls to Alvin again, and it's a lovely first time pass on the lefty back into me in the corner. I try and smack it off the wall to find Tamim. But their keeper gathers it, lays it out to the defender here. I think he ends up bringing it forward. S has got to wake up, man. His alarm's going off. Get this guy a contract, man. About six minutes left of the first half here, and Alvin's going to G check him on the wing quickly. He brings it back. Tries to find a pass, but to me, the Bulldog is on a tight press in the middle. Falls into me, and that's a lefty first time. 5-2. To me, off, knit on. So the ref's about to blow for the end of the half. It's been a good one from the boys. Press has been tight. If we carry on with this in the second half, we should be fine. But you know how it gets in five a side, man. <sighs> Well, we just keep it, but keep talking. Well, what's been saying? We're winning the first half, moving the ball, defending is excellent. Like the way we're structured, we're making it work for their goals, man. The only thing I'd say is, 
only goes they did score cool, when no one's picking up their man. It's literally getting free shot on goal. That's the only negative I'd say. Other than that, finishing's good. Moving off the ball's been good. Yeah, the thing is, keep talking though. Keep talking. Yeah, yeah. talking. So that's why we're we're, we're locking them out the game. Yeah. Everyone's talking. Yeah. Kick off the second half about four minutes in. Nothing's really happened in the first few minutes, so we'll speed it up to here. I'm looking for Gidzo in the middle. Turns on it, has a strike, and it deflects back to me. Take a couple touches and try to catch the keeper out on the left foot. I think he clocked me. It's a good save. Tamim should be pressing this guy a bit more. He spins him kind of easily and runs through. And I told you lot, man, we've got the return of S. Ooh, yes, Sammy. S rolls out to Alvin and they're giving him way too much space so he lets one off but it's a good block. Falls back into Tamim. I think he finds Gizzo in the middle, he turns on it. Can't give Gizzo too much space though, he lets off a rocket, it's a great save from the keeper. I'm in there with the press, challenge this guy. Turn around, look for an option and Gizzo's there for me. He takes the touch and lets one off on the lefty this time, it's another great save from the keeper. It falls to Alvin, we don't sign people for no reason. Played. Ashford taking the result in centre from that goal we just scored. Play it forward and Tamim's trying to mark this guy. Great save from S, safe hands. About 15 minutes left of the game and Tamim plays me a lovely ball onto the wing. Have a strike but it's a good block. I think it's a rare miss from Gidzo. Listen, you lot let us know man, should we get the gaffer some rice and peas or some jollof or something? Because I ain't never seen a bandana looking like that. It's that blue bandana act. But despite us dominating most of the game, Ashford Argyle get in here and they get one. So really and truly it's game one, only three in it. To meme off, knit on. So we're getting a little bit of deja vu from last week's episode when we were up by a good few goals and we ended up bringing it back. So we need a couple more just to finish this game off. And I forgot to tell you, one of the reasons we signed Alvin because he's got eyes on the back of his head. It falls to kids and he lays it back into Alvin and he's really unlucky not to back that. So without AB this week, I think the boys are trying to get their little clips in for their highlights on Instagram. So Gizzo's cooking. About 10 minutes left of the game and the Ashford defender tries to play it out, but Gizzo's all over him. Let's one fly, but that's over the bar. The rebound falls to Ashford and Nick does well to force this guy into an error. Comes to Alvin and the gaffer's telling him what he wants. One on one, do him. He plays to me instead and I lay it back into him. That's a good block from the defender. Wait for me. Okay, good. Gets all back. Not trying to shake hands or touch each other up. I'm just get on with it. Alvin off to meme on. About six minutes left, and I try to play the ball into Nit, but the defender blocks it. I block him, and then it falls to Nit. He has a strike. It's a good save from the keeper. Ashford Argyle coming out on the counter attack. I think this guy switches it and their player ends up switching it back into him. But Gidzo setting the tone there with the press. I think he ends up sending him back. And because everyone's got their men, they just can't find a pass and it ends up going to no one. So it's about five and a half minutes left of the game now and we've been doing well. Like I said, we learned from last week so we're keeping the press tight like we were at the start. We're trying to not give them any space. But they're knocking it about here. I think they play it onto the wing. They switch it back across the pitch, and obviously S is fresh back from the injury, so it's a little bit rusty. Get this guy a contract, man. So they brought it within two, and the boys are having flashbacks, nightmares from last week. Gizzo's got the ball and he's going back towards goal, and I don't think he was allowed to pass it back to S here, so they get a free kick, and we are not switched on at all. I'll be real, we were lucky that it didn't end up being 6-5 hit. But we're on the counter-attack straight away, Nick finds me on the wing. I think I can look across and find Tamim on the opposite wing. The Bulldog faces up this guy, leaves him, has a strike. It falls to me and it really should have been first time. I didn't have time to take a touch. Ball ends up going in the net, so I bring it back down. I'm looking for an option. I see Tamim in the middle. Try to play a little cheeky pass, but it's unlucky. Gets a bit scrappy in the middle here, but Nick's like Kante. He retrieves it and I let one fly. To meme off, Alvin on. And listen, Nit's one of our players who's not too outspoken, but on the pitch he just gets to it. So from now on, you gotta call him Samurai Nit or Kante, whichever one you prefer. Yes! He wins that ball so much! Yes! Yeah! 
Yes! Yeah! So that was the dagger from Nick there. That's the goal we needed just to let end to see it all out. Balls with me in the corner. I'm just going to see how a little bit of footwork to end the game off. But the full-time whistle's about to go. Good win from the boys. We needed this one, especially after last week letting it slip like that. It was a bit of a slow game, but sometimes you just got to see out and come away with the three points, which is what we haven't been doing recently. But as well, guys, love for 700 subs. We appreciate it. Still going for that 1K. And make sure you check out our Instagram. We've just dropped something special over there for you lot. So I'll put it on the screen now. Also, guys, we've got a midweek special coming out on Wednesday. So make sure you tune in for that. You're not going to want to miss it. So this is how the league table looks after that win. We've actually moved up a place to third, but there's still a five-point gap between us and second, so we've got to keep on getting these wins and make up that ground. It wasn't the best performance, didn't it, but it's all got the win, in it? No, it's good That's communication. That's what we've been doing recently, bro. We haven't been getting the double. A couple goals and that. He's been Dangerous goal. Did my job. Did, did his it. job. I recommended a match Alvin as well. Alvin was there. Yeah, 100%. Game. Three, games three games in a row. You see how important the communication is, though? Back to back. Get out of here, bro. That's a no-brainer. Yo. Huh? Bro, I said at the start, we're going to get the dub. Got the dub, bro. Played well throughout the first half, second half. Saw the game out, really now it gets me. You got to change that do-rag. Yeah, no that shit's got a curse. Nah, yeah, not even. Yeah, he's Been running. It. Last episode with his do-rag on, bro. Danger. Bro, have you ever seen a guy with a baby blue do-rag? But hold on. Have you ever seen a Ghanaian military tank with a baby blue do-rag on? Well, you have now. Four three to Longford. Back on the back on the W's. Back with the dogs, man. Let's get on the roll, man. It was only right, bro. Was only After right. that last run we had. All I want to hear is wins, bro. Can't lie. With AB back, yeah, Duak back, Lightning back. Come on, bro. Cheers, ref. Thank you. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my god! 